Yaman, <laughs> welcome to the Steam Room episode Dreadlock. Why Dreadlocks? Because Kevin Rudd here, or as he's better known to personal people that he knows, Stud Rudd is here, and he's got like the coolest dreadlocks. Well, I don't want to say cooler than Tyler or Darren Clark, but you know, these guys know how to wear the dreadlocks, so I figure, hey, why don't we celebrate National Dreadlock Day? I just actually started it. Keevan, how you doing, man? Welcome Good, to the man. steam room, brother. Appreciate it, appreciate hey, it. tell me about. I'm serious now. I know I don't want to sound like. Oh, how do you do your hair? But how do you get your hair? First of all, it's got to grow. But yeah. I mean, how do you take care of it, man? Uh, I maintenance it about once a month. I get it done once a month. I go to my stylist, and she gets me right, looking nice and neat. So um, I've been growing them for eight years. Really? The last time I had a haircut was senior prom. <laughs> so that was the last time I had a haircut, and I've, wow. been, I've been growing them ever since. Think of all the money this man saves. I mean, he's smart, man. He's financially smart. Now, well, how about before a game? Do you wear it a special way? Because I tell you, man, sometimes when you're flying through the air making those catches, that hair's flying. I can't see the number, but is that kind of the intent? you feel, like, strength from your hair? I mean, is that part yeah, of the deal? Yeah, they, they give me power. They, they, they enhance me when I'm on the field, so that's why I grew them out. But, no, all jokes aside, I just I leave them down because now that they're so long, they just all stay in the back. In college, they kind of sat on my shoulder pads right here. But since they're longer, they just automatically go to the back. So, Or I'll put it in a ponytail. Has anybody ever had the nerve to say, man, I, that's not cool? To no, you personally? I, I mean, I personally never said I've that. I've never heard I think it's that. cool. They've either, <laughs> the main thing they would do is maybe try to grab them or they'll hate that mine's are longer than theirs. <laughs> and a, have yeah, you ever thing. been tackled by your hair? No, maybe only once or twice, surprisingly. Even through college, <laughs> once or twice. Wow. Yeah. Now, tell me your pregame ritual, because it has to do with the movie Scarface. You watch the first half of that all the time. Why? It's, it's when he was hungry. The, the reason that I was actually grounded when I watched that movie. I was My neighbor had a whole bunch of movies, and I had nothing to do because I couldn't leave the house. <laughs> so I went over and borrowed I mean, Scarface. Grounded Scarf like his parents it, said, you can't leave the house. Can't that leave kind of the ground. house. So I went to my neighbor's house, and, you know, uh, my neighbor Ed let me borrow the movie, and I watched it, and I came upstairs imitating Scarface. My mom was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so I was Scarface for like a week, but in that first part, he's hungry. He wants it. Um, it just I, I watched that part because that's you know, how I want it on the field. Yeah. You know, I'm hungry. I want every pass. I want every block. I want to make everything just hungry for everything. Yeah, it's interesting. When I tried this on last night, uh, my wife said, what is wrong with you? She said the same thing your mom said. <laughs> so tell me about... Assistant coach Derek Reeves, because he played a big part in your life a long, long time ago yeah. when you were in high school. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody sees him down there, but they don't know the impact he had on you individually. Derek Reeves sat us down my sophomore year when uh, he was going through some coaching changes and wasn't sure if he's going to be able to coach us or not. So he sat us all down and just talked to us personally about his family, how our family is, what he expects out of us, and just just talk to us as you know as coaches players men's like we were all kids then sophomore year 15 16 and he just talked to us I, you know I don't think a lot of coaches are doing that just sitting down talking with their players is, hey is everything good talk to me how's your family you know what do you guys expect from so and so and it was it was huge I remember like it was yesterday so I every time I see coach Reeves I think the first thing I think about and how that has impacted me down the road and 10 years ago I don't think he had dreadlocks then no. uh, he was a ball boy at, for the steam winners yeah. I mean, you know Jack Walker and those cats. Yeah. In your wildest imagination, ten years later, would you be making leaping catches over the wall for this for the same team? Not at all. It wasn't even in my thoughts uh, that I'd be a team owner. But now that it's happening, it's 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 insane. Like I can't believe it. So that's very cool. Now tell me, how many jobs do you have, Kevin Rudd? I mean, I, I'm I've lost track. I've got three. For counting steam owners, I got three. I got three jobs. Yeah, it's a job. That is a job. Okay, I have three That's jobs. A job. I got three you got three. And what are the other two? Uh, I work at Davenport Guns, and I'm a field agent for Adidas. Wow. So, do you ever sleep? Do you uh, every now and then, but you know what? Sleep. You know, I'm. A, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, it's, yeah. it's overrated. Yeah, man. it's overrated. Hey, what about your bro what about your brother, man? It's so cool that your brother, who's like 11 or 12, gets to see you at these games. Now, I, you know, you are you're inspiring him by just having him watch you do what you do. But how else do you inspire? 
I just, you know, I give him a little pointers every now and then. Things that I was doing at his age, I try to tell him about that too. Hey, you know, little stuff, little chores. Yeah. Making sure your room's clean. Uh, I try to dress him up every now and then when I'm out the house because usually, you know, I'm so busy. By the time I'm up, he's already going to school or, you know, I'm still, if I'm sleeping, yeah. you know, he's already gone or whatever. But, you know, I try to style him up. You know, that's my little brother. So I want him to, you know, symbolize me as much as, as, much as I can because, you know, I know he looks up to me, but... You know, I try to look out for him as much as I can. Uh, you seem to be the kind of guy that you, you're you want to go places. Yeah. I don't care if it's on a football field. I don't care where it is. You're 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 gonna have what you want. You you seem to be that kind of guy. Yeah. What do you want? Like when you're 40, what are you gonna be? Now I don't not job oh, professional. You're gonna be successful. You're gonna have the nice ride. You're gonna have a family. What are you gonna have? Got the nice ride. Don't have Already the Already got the nice ride. It's a Camaro, by no, the way. No, nah. um, <laughs> Just to be successful in general, I think I've set myself up already with, I started my career path when I was in, fresh out of high school. So that's why I've been able to have, you know, the, well, I've had two jobs, but I've been successful at them that it's got me to a position where some people would have to start out at, or some people that would have to build up to reach like once they graduated college once I graduated college already there I was already at that level yeah so yeah, yeah. Um, just be successful you know I, I work hard I work very hard so I think down the road I'm still gonna be successful just don't know where it's gonna be at hey Kevin thanks for stopping by the steam room I'm doing the math if I grow my hair 10 years without getting a cut I'll be the coolest Rasta 77 year old ever <laughs> You're already there, man. Overnight success. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. We're going to yeah. get uh, Corey Ross in here. Corey Ross, of course, is waving the red, white, and yeah. blue because it's military appreciation night. We want to get all the people from the Quad Cities arsenal. Of course, the DOD employees, come on by. You got discounted tickets. Oh, yeah. Check out the website. And uh, I didn't get a chance to ask Kevin this, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of hits on a football field. Of ah, course, Corey Ross, head coach. Of well, he uh, took a big hit uh, last year. Saturday night from Keevan Rudd. Now, he, Keevan celebrated the touchdown. Yeah. You're coming out. What's your version of the collision well, that you ended up on the turf with? I like to get into the game with my with my players. Yeah. I enjoy it. I live through them. So uh, he made a spectacular catch, and I couldn't hold my emotion. And we caught eyes, and I'm looking. I'm like, hey, we going up. It's our celebration. And I saw a look in his eyes like he'd been trying to get me all year. <laughs> and he took a sprint. And we were supposed to go up, and he came at. <laughs> kind of knocked me down, but I had to play it off because I was still excited. Oh, yeah, because we'll the fall down and twist. And you're Corey Ross. Like, you're cool. I mean, exactly. You, dude, whatever happens, you're cool. But no, it was a great. It was Are great you time. concerned at all, football question, about your offense as far as consistency? Because I'm telling you, anybody who's been to a game, defense is like lighting the place up. Yeah. And last Saturday gave the ball over to the offense so they could like find themselves in the second half. Absolutely. So what I mean, when you're a coach, is, is it maddening when the consistency isn't there? Well, absolutely. And I think it's consistent at every level. Yeah. You know, uh, there's things we're not doing correctly on special teams. There's things there's some things we can't continue to do or get better at defensively. And offensively it's just been a struggle. Uh, trying to really just find ourselves. But again we've been dealing with injuries uh throughout the last couple of weeks on our offensive side of the ball. But that shouldn't that shouldn't take away from what we're trying to do and that's just moving the ball to score points. And so we got we're figuring that out and I think we had a, a great second half. I got my coaching staff I gotta give them a shout out because we're very, very good at making some adjustments that can happen and, and making things happen. So we do that very, very well. But uh, at the end, end of the day it's up to those guys uh, on that football field playing together and trying to make sure that they do their part. Don't forget, game time is 7.05. Omaha is in town, and Omaha means a lot to this guy. We'll talk about that in a second. 7.05, get your tickets. We really seriously want to sell out the Tax Slayer Center. We're working with the Arsenal. We're working with everybody in town. So, I mean, come on, man. I mean, the kids are having a blast, really, and it's really great football. I will be honest with you. Uh, I sometimes an NFL game kind of like makes me nod a little bit because there's not enough points or whatever. This you won't nod off on, I, I guarantee you. Uh, so tell me about Omaha. You coached there last year, right? <laughs> so now you go back to Omaha on the road a couple weeks ago. T things don't go well. This hat is kind of getting me. <laughs> These trends is making me low. Yeah, man. I like it though. All right. Uh, but Omaha, right, let's talk yeah, Omaha. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look at you. Um, oh, you're not the only one. <laughs> so, so when you lose to, to a team you coached, all right? Because yeah. there's a, you know those guys, man. You know Absolutely. some people in the organization. You can't lose to them twice. No, I mean no. that's in your mind. You can't lose to any team twice when you play them twice. You know, uh, especially with the way our playoff system works and the things we're trying to do. Uh, we're trying to one up each team. So like again, we took advantage of 
I went against Bismarck when they came to our house and they beat us, took advantage of that. So uh, that's exactly what we're thinking about doing here. Uh, Omaha comes here and they have a great fan base, but they haven't seen ours yet. And yes. So uh, can't wait for it to get a little loud in there and, and, and to change the momentum of some things uh, and make it hard for their offense to move the ball as well. Uh, so that's what I'm more excited about. But look, I think uh, we got a we got a great game plan uh, for them this week. And I, I think we'll do a great job. In How? I mean, I've seen different coaches, and obviously when you get really you know older, older, it's hard to stay you know in, in, in physical shape. I see a lot of coaches. You know, you know they're on the treadmill or they're doing whatever they need to do because you're coaching a bunch of young people, so you got to keep. Your energy is too, and, <laughs> and I know you know you're hitting the gym and all that Try. sort of thing. Yeah, it, but it, not it, sleeping. It, <laughs> but is that important? Is that important for your energy level? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, uh, we we that's not a problem. You see our staff. I think a lot of fans see us, and we have a lot of fun. Uh, our energy level is never. <laughs> we try to tell the, the players to match our energy. Uh, so I, I think um, we work out. We try to do things together, but. At the end of the day, we got a job doing. Was trying to you know, win football game. All right. Well, I'm tr I'm trying to decide if I should wear this to the game Saturday. So just hey, the one more reason for you guys to stop. Now, right? <laughs> Seriously, I'm kidding you. Hey, we want to we want to thank Top Shape Gym here in Rock Island. There's six of them all over town. Don't forget, we're having That's Military it. Appreciation Night on Saturday, and also appreciating all those employees out there, those civilian employees, the DOD employees. We're all going to celebrate how important the arsenal is to this town as well as a steam one, right, absolutely, my brother? Absolutely. Okay, give, give me the, give, give me the reggae. Yeah, bro. man. Give me the reggae, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Peace out.